Hi, I'm Dr. Tina Alster. I'm here today to talk about the tattoo eraser system that I developed for the A method. Uh, in this particular kit, which is supposed to be used with a micro needling device, I use the collagen pin with the 36 pins or needles in it. Um, there is a solution that you use for the glide, for the, for the actual micro needling uh, device, along with um, a serum, which is the tattoo lifter, it's a proprietary blend, um, along with a non-chemical SPF and a soothing balm that you put on right after the treatment. Um, I'm gonna be showing you how to do this in just a second. So with microneedling, you typically don't have to do anything but apply a topical numbing cream. And I use a 30% lidocaine gel, which I apply for about 30 to 60 minutes before the procedure. So again, it's just a little gel. I'm going to actually put it on the tattoo that we're treating. I don't even have to occlude it. Sometimes if I don't have a full 30 minutes, um, I will sit here and just keep rubbing it in, um, sometimes even with my ungloved finger, so that I know if my finger gets numb, then the rest of the skin is numb. So now I'm going to remove the anesthetic cream with some hypochlorous acid gel. It comes under a variety of different names called Levison or Regenesin or even Lasersin, but it's basically hypochlorous acid and it's a great antibacterial. Okay, so I'd like to use the collagen pin, which has 36 of uh, 30 gauge needles in the tip. Um, and these are individual use needle tips. What I like to do for virtually all tattoos, regardless of the area on the body that we're treating, is I actually do use it all the way to three millimeter depth. Now, clearly, if you're treating something in a very thin tissue area, like around the neck or the eyelids, you might want to bring it down to two millimeters or even one and a half millimeters. So the idea is that you want to till the, the land very deeply. So what I do first is I'm going to actually use as my gliding agent the proprietary lifting serum, which is basically a urea blend. That's not a big secret. And I'm going to actually put this directly onto the tattoo that I'm going to treat, and I'm going to put the, the, um, the micro needle on. Just press the switch here, stretch the skin, and I'm going to get started right in the center here. And I'm basically going to just go across all the way here, and then I'm going to cross hatch the passage. Now remember, we just used a topical anesthetic, and it's a little bit pinchy. Would you say it's a little bit pinchy? But not too bad, right? Um, you know, I think if we had numbed it up with actual um, needle injections of lidocaine, it would hurt more than what I'm doing now. Now, the main thing is that we keep going until we see some pinpoint bleeding in the area. That's the idea. Sometimes it just takes a while to get it going. Um, if I stop right now, you probably will be able to see a bit of this happening. You want it as uniform as possible. You can tell that I'm going in different directions, up, down, and sideways. And you can see the pinpoint bleeding. You want that all the way through. We're almost done with the bad part. Perfect. I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so now you see the pinpoint bleeding. It's uniformly throughout the tattoo, and basically what I'm going to do is ice wa using wa ice water soaked gauze to remove the, the blood from the top. Very easy to do, okay? So now I'm going to apply on the clean area this tattoo eraser serum. This is the proprietary blend, secret sauce, that I'm putting on top that helps to lift the tattoo pigment out. Now this is going down into some of the channels. Basically, it will irritate the area and it feels a little bit burny, but not too bad, right? No okay. So now the next step is to use um, from the kit the A Method Soothe HC. This is a hydrocortisone containing cream just to cut down on the inflammation. I'm just gonna rub that on the area. Do a little bit more because I produced a little bit of redness all the way around here. You, you can be generous with this. So now I'm going to be putting on this um, adhesive edged Telfa pad just to protect the area and away she goes. 
So what we can expect now is that the area will stay bandaged for the next 24 hours. I tell people that they can bathe, uh, but no saunas or steam rooms or jacuzzis. Um, they, so the area can get wet, patting the area dry, and then using the Soothe HC as well as sunblock, plus or minus a bandage, doing that every day. Uh, it takes at least a week, particularly in non-facial areas, for the skin to heal completely, sometimes longer than that. So as long as the area is healing, they should be doing daily dressing changes. I have people come back on a monthly basis. Typically people need at least a few treatments to bring out at least half of the tattoo ink and maybe several more after that. Again on a monthly basis. It can be longer than that in between the treatments if need be. It doesn't take away from the effect by waiting longer between the treatments. But uh, I'm getting about the same results with these type of tattoos as I get with some of my uh, tattoo uh, removal lasers. The tattoos that I typically like to use this on are those that are not treated by the tattoo removal lasers. Um, those would include the cosmetic tattoos, those tattoos that contain zinc oxide or titanium dioxide. Those are sometimes red or flesh colored, brown, those kind of cosmetic tattoos that do not respond well with the lasers. In addition, um, I actually like to use this on people with darker skin tones uh, because the lasers will often cause the areas to turn light or dark. Uh, you have to be an advanced laser user to use those lasers very well in darker skin phototypes. For those people who either don't have the lasers or don't have experience with treating darker skin tones, the um, tattoo eraser system is a great way to remove ink.